a fluid colored black is dripped into a transparent fluid. Vibration now gives rise to curious eddy formations. It is always a pair of eddies that is created. One pair after another is generated so that we finish up with a whole series of such pairs of eddies in a symmetrical arrangement. formation of these eddies by vibration is particularly significant because it is eddies of this kind which are specifically formed in the cochlea of our ears whenever we hear sounds. That is to say, they are not ordinary eddies as defined in rheology, but vibratory eddies, with the members of each pair turning in opposite directions. plastic substance. A plasticizable substance is always shaped into a ball by the wave trains of the vibrating membrane. The masses are jiggled round, but gradually proper spherical shapes are formed, created by nothing more than the vibratory process. The human voice can also be made visible with a simple apparatus. The various vowels show typical characteristics depending on the nature of their sound. We can see the spectrum, as it were, of the sounds. as a sequence of vibratory patterns. We can see a melody.
music can also be made visible. The same membrane that emits the music can also make its vibratory processes visible through the medium of a fluid. Here we have the last 89 bars of the first movement of Mozart's Jupiter Symphony. We can see Mozart while we hear him. Lycopodium powder, the spores of the club moss, reveals a number of quite remarkable phenomena when made to vibrate. Circular shapes appear, but these are in a state of continuous upheaval. The particles are pushed outwards from the center and inwards again from the outside. And at the same time, they pulsate. we can recognize the various patterns of the vibratory fields. They move to and fro, unite, and separate again according to the vibratory state of the surface formed by the membrane. And we can, as it were, move over a landscape which is in a state of vibration. If we intensify the note, if we produce a crescendo for the ear, the masses are hurled outwards. We see fountains, eruptions, explosions almost, but invariably the particles return to the center, so that here again, even under these violently dynamic conditions, we find there is circulation. <laughs> 